look closely. See that? The rear wheels of that massive truck are turning. What's going on here? Most of us grow up knowing one basic fact about vehicles. They steer from the front. But what happens when your vehicle is the size of a small building, weighs 40 tons, and needs to turn inside a tight city street? That's where rear axle steering comes in. And trust me, it's not just some clever party trick. This is one of the smartest hidden technologies on the road today, and it's quietly transforming how modern trucks move. Today, we're going to show you how it works, why it matters, and why this tech is way more common than you might think, especially across Europe. Let's start with the basics. Rear wheel steering, also known as rear axle steering or tag axle steering, is exactly what it sounds like. Instead of the rear wheels being fixed straight, some of them can actually turn. You'll typically find this on four axle or five axle trucks, especially those used in construction, heavy lifting, or tight city logistics. These are big, heavy vehicles that need extra help navigating small spaces. So how does it work? Modern trucks use electronically controlled hydraulic actuators. When the driver turns the steering wheel, sensors instantly analyze the truck's speed, the steering angle, the vehicle load, the dynamic movement of the trailer. Based on this data, the rear axle, or multiple axles, turns slightly in the opposite direction of the front wheels. Even just a few degrees makes a massive difference in maneuverability. In technical terms, this is called counterphase steering. At lower speeds, it can reduce the turning circle by up to 25%, allowing a 12-meter truck to navigate areas designed for cars. Let's put this into perspective. Imagine a fully loaded 10x4 crane truck driving into a narrow alley. Without rear axle steering, it would need to reverse and readjust multiple times wasting fuel, time, and potentially damaging the surroundings. But with rear steering, it glides around in one clean motion. This is a game changer in places like downtown delivery zones, construction sites with no turnaround space, narrow European towns with centuries-old road layouts. For truck drivers, this isn't just about convenience, it's about safety. Fewer multi-point turns means fewer chances to hit pedestrians, cyclists, or property. But better turning isn't the only benefit. One of the biggest advantages is that rear wheel steering dramatically reduces tire wear. Here's the deal. On traditional trucks, when turning, the rear fixed axles are dragged sideways. This is called scrubbing, and it's brutal. It causes excessive tire wear, higher rolling resistance, more fuel consumption, and damage to the pavement. Now multiply that by dozens of turns a day across a full fleet every week. It adds up fast. By letting the rear axles steer and follow the natural arc of the truck, the sideways dragging is eliminated. The result? Up to 30% longer tire life, lower fuel bills, fewer blowouts, less strain on suspension components. It's a quiet, invisible benefit, but a massive one for any company managing a fleet of heavy-duty trucks. But the rear steering system doesn't stop at turning. Many of these rear axles are also liftable. That's right, they can literally rise off the ground when not needed. Why? Because when the truck is lightly loaded, driving straight on a highway, or backing into a tight spot, those rear axles aren't adding much value. In fact, they just create extra drag. By lifting the axle off the ground, the truck reduces rolling resistance, uses less fuel, wears down fewer tires, and makes backing up easier. And the best part? It's all automated. The truck's onboard computer, known as an ECU, constantly monitors load weight, road speed, and steering angle. Based on that data, it decides when to steer, when to lift, and by how much, all in real time. This smart automation means the driver can focus on driving. The system handles the rest, silently improving efficiency with every kilometer. Rear axle steering is used worldwide, but it's far more common in European trucks, and that's no accident. Here's why. 
Europe's roads are narrower, especially in old city centers. Urban deliveries often require precision reversing into tiny loading zones. Heavy crane trucks and tippers need to navigate uneven, cluttered job sites. In Europe, you'll see this tech on trucks like the Scania R-Series 10x4 crane carriers, Volvo FMX construction trucks, and MAN TGS and DAF CF municipal sweepers and tankers. In fact, many European cities actually require this kind of advanced maneuverability, especially in emission zones where space is tight and delivery windows are short. And the trend is spreading. As cities grow denser and truck regulations become tighter, expect to see more rear steering axles in urban trucks worldwide, including in North America, where regulations and designs are beginning to shift. So why do some trucks have rear axles that turn? It's not for show. It's for smarter turns, lower costs, better safety, and effortless control. From navigating ancient cities to reducing wear on expensive tires, rear axle steering is one of the most underrated innovations in trucking today. And if you ever see one in action, now you know what's really going on. Smash that like button if this video turned your wheels a bit. Subscribe for more deep dives into truck tech, and let us know in the comments, have you ever driven a rear steer truck or been surprised by one turning in reverse?